All right, today I'm gonna to teach you how to make your very own Phil's Bagel. It's really easy to make. All you need is a snare drum head. An old snare drum head will work just fine. Bass drum O cutter. It's normally used to cut holes in your resonant bass drum head. And then you need a good old fashioned utility knife. First, you're gonna to wanna to bring your drum head down on the floor or on some carpet. This has a little blade in there, but it's not gonna do any damage to the carpet. And it has this little pivot point right here that you can adjust to be, right now it's in the six inch hole, but if you move it up here, it goes five inches. If you move it up here, it's four inches. Wherever you stick this pivot point into the drum head, it should be the center of the drum head, but wherever you stick it, it then is, it easily turns in a circle and it'll allow you to cut out a hole. I'm gonna actually make this one a little bit bigger so that I only end up with a, a very thin ring around the outside of my snare drum. So I'm gonna take this and go find what looks to be the center and I'm gonna press it down and then I'm just gonna kinda of do that and see where whereabouts. I think that looks pretty good. Notice I'm not pressing all the way down but then I actually give it a little pressure. It cuts into the drum head and I just go in a circle Two ply head. Works better with one ply heads, people. But you know what? We're gonna keep going because we're not done with Phillips bagel. Next, you're gonna take your friend the X-Acto knife here, and you're gonna just cut out the hoop. Cut out the old is that what you call it? A hoop? Um counter. No, that's not right. Um anyways, we're gonna cut out the hoop. So we're gonna take it right here. I'm just gonna ever so slightly cut this bad boy out of here. Okay, all right, okay. Cutting this thing out. And it's gone. And what you're left with is now we have two Phil's bagels. Wow. So you, you got your, uh, your Phil's bagel and your Phil's bagel uh, coated version with uh, frosting on it, actually. <laughs> and so we're gonna go find a snare drum and put these on there. Let's hit that snare drum, see what it sounds like. Okay, now let's see what that does. Nice and fat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now let's see what doubling up does. That's nice. Okay, now let's see what putting the frosted one on only does. Okay, let's see what this one does. What do you think? Sounds great. Do you like the frosted donut? Oh, do you like the frosted bagel or the plain bagel? I like them both, I can't pick. Uh, we're gonna tune this guy up a little bit and show you the difference at a higher pitched snare drum tuning. So here's what it sounds like without the bagel. Cool, and here's what it sounds like with the frosted bagel. And here is the double bagel. So there you have it, folks. That's how you make a Phil's bagel. If you use a coated head that's two ply, you can get a frosted bagel and a plain bagel.